So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually look at um, a slightly more realistic uh, network characteristic. It's very unlikely that all of our ISP connections, all of our WAN links, all of our WAN paths would behave the same all at the same time. So we're going to induce a little bit of jitter. We're going to induce a little bit of, uh, of, of you know, minimal loss, a little bit of bursty loss. Um, and we're going to vary the, the, the round trips on some of our paths here to make it look more, more realistic. And then we're going to repeat the tests we've, we've done and observe the results. So if we look at our WAN simulator now, what we have now is we have slightly different latencies on some of our paths. Um, and these are unidirectional latencies. So worst case is 60 milliseconds in one direction. Best case now is 40 milliseconds. We're also on some of the paths injecting a little bit of random packet loss. And we're also injecting a little bit of latency on the paths as well. Okay, so what we'll now do is let's just look at our peplink view and our Tolari view and observe our path statistics. Um, so now, looking at the peplink view, he is seeing a, a round trip on WAN 1 at 118 milliseconds and a round trip on WAN 2 at 108. Okay, so not unreasonable, about the same as what we had before. Um, but if we look at the Tolari now, we'll notice that um, our path statistics, because we measure unidirectionally, we're actually showing a one-way trip time of 40 milliseconds, and in the opposite direction, we're showing a one-way best path of 40 as well. So our effective uh, round trip here, according to us, is, is about, uh, about uh, just under 90 milliseconds. We're also showing and reporting the bursty loss as we see it. You can see as the paths clean up, they're good. Um, and we also see a little bit of loss characteristics coming in as well. Um, and then we also see on the paths, we're seeing a little bit more variance in the, in the statistical geo measurements. So, so right away, more granularity in terms of our approach seems to, be, seems to allow us to, to do a little better job of picking the best path. So if we now look at our round trips and our pings, we'll just minimize the two views here. On the Tolari side at the top here, we can see that we're actually finding our best shortest path is 86 to 89 milliseconds. On the PEP link, we're actually seeing our round trip now vary greatly. Um, so at some point in time, the PEP link is finding the fastest path, but at other points in time, he seems to be on a slower path. Um, so right away, clearly, he's incapable of, of always picking the fastest, best, best path for our most important application. Um, so now what we do, let's now do our, our same TCP throughput test. Um, so again, sending TCP traffic on a single flow, um, now across a slightly more variable uh, network. Um, so again, we see, we actually do see a little bit of latency induced here on the, on the Tolari now for the, for the ping packets. Um, but again, still staying pretty consistent. Um, he's moved over to a slightly slower path, um, but he's still getting through very, very consistently. Okay, and again, we're seeing 26, 27 megabits of throughput on, on, the, uh, on the Trilari there. So our TCP flow is still going reasonably well, even though the latency on each of our paths is, is now slightly different. Okay, so we'll stop that. Again, we see the best path get selected. Um, but everything still was going through with reasonable priority and with, without any, any, any major issues there. Okay, so now let's repeat the test with peplink. So, same test, and we observed previously with the peplink, with equal WAN links, the, 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 the data throughput was actually, you know, around about 27, millis 27 megabits. So now let's repeat the test. So now, interestingly enough, our ping seems to be unaffected, but our effective throughput on the, on the file transfer is nowhere near what we were seeing. It's about one-tenth of, of what we were observing. So again, a very unusual result, a very inconsistent result. Clearly, we're not, we're not congesting the WAN links now, so our end-to-end our -end latency is not necessarily being affected. And actually, he seems to be doing a slightly better job of picking the best path. But obviously, 
we're in, in, unable to send anywhere near the same amount of traffic on the PEP link here um, because he cannot deal with the variability of, of, the, of the paths. And if we look at the PEP link, we look at the PEP link view, let's see what he's doing, right? And, you know, as we can see, he's reporting quite a high amount of packet loss on the paths. Um, he's not congesting the links, um, but he is seeing seeing a little bit of drop rate on, on the paths, but he's obviously not doing anything to mitigate the, the effects of loss. So hence the TCP flow is, is getting affected greatly. Okay, so, so right out of the box, we're seeing a much more inconsistent result with the, with the PEP link uh, as opposed to the, to the Tulare. Um, and then all of a sudden, he'll shoot right up.